Introduced first in Vectorworks 2010, the differentiation of the screen plane and layer plane causes some users confusion. You may first notice the screen or layer plane selection drop down menu at the top of the screen. Depending on which mode this is set to, will determine the plane that new objects will be drawn in. These objects can of course be changed later in the object info palette for each individual object. The simplest way to understand the difference between the two is to remember that screen plane objects are oriented as if written directly on the screen of your computer. They will always face you, no matter what you've done to them. Layer plane objects will lie flat on the ground plane, or on the specified working plane. They are still 2D objects, like a piece of paper if dropped on the floor. Still flat, but you can look at it from different angles in 3D. With the changes made to text objects in Vectorworks 2011, you can now use a combination of screen plane text and layer plane text to dimension any pieces of your drawing you desire, without having to use a separate set of dimensions for each view. We'll start with a simple cube. We'll create a few basic dimensions, and you can see that the dimensions behave differently depending on which plane they're set to. Keep in mind that if you're in a 3D view, such as right isometric, Changing an object's plane may make the object appear to move. Simply changing the plane back again or using Edit, Undo will correct this. When working with objects both in screen plane and in layer plane, don't forget which objects are which and attempt to manually align them, only to have them appear far out of place after you've changed back to a top plan view. The final thing to remember about layer and screen plane is that when you're trying to work with multiple objects with a command such as clip surface, both objects must be in the same plane in order for the operation to be successful. Add and clip surface, among the other modifier commands, will work in both planar modes as long as the two or more involved objects all exist on the same plane. Again, this can be changed easily in the object info palette. Keep in mind that there are separate coordinates for each object for each plane. If you change an object to screen plane mode and relocate it, then switch it back to layer plane mode, it will return to its layer plane coordinates. These two coordinate systems are kept completely separate. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical articles. Thank you, and have a great day.